answer me this with the useless power and then what would be your good one <laughs> for my useless power it would probably be i don't gotta wipe my ass <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay, I'm not gonna lie, that is probably oh. the most godlike useless shit I've ever heard. Because, yo, do you know what that means? That means that you would take perfect shit. Yes. For <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, that's that good shit. Yo. It's your boys. Brother Ooch. IQ It's me We are The Full Power Podcast oh. Alright boys, we're back again once again How's everyone feeling? I hope you guys are doing well at home the whole crew is here, minus Kai, so I guess it's not really the whole crew, but you know, we got the majority of us are here in the house for episode 141 of the Full Power Podcast. It is your host that tries to know the most, boy, Ooch. I'm here with my man, the Iceman, brother Ooch, and of course, the brains of the operation, IQ Ooch. Everybody, how we doing today? Brother Ooch, you first, as always. <laughs> I'm sorry. Long day, that's it. Facts. I feel that, 100%. Mm -hmm. IQ, what about you, sir? How are you feeling today? I feel... I feel good. <laughs> All Tomorrow right. Tomorrow is last school day, because Thursday and Friday we got robotics competition. Oh, yeah. Dad was telling me a little bit about that. So, so how's that going? You guys are, like, far in the comp, or is this, like, the first, like... Nah, this is our first appearance. First chat. appearance what type of robot y'all got. <laughs> oh, here we go. Not not a destruction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He already knew. Good man. Good man. Yo, why are you, you trying to you 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 want them to like create these like fucking fighting robots. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what they're about. Come on now. Every why has everything gotta be destructive for you? Hey man, if they got the power, the power, if they got the knowledge. Fuck it. So oh, wait a minute. So basically, <laughs> let me get this straight. You essentially want them to create Terminators. This man cannot just be a 4.0 and make pussy box. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, we don't got the money for that. Yeah, like you want them to make Terminators essentially. <laughs> At least give me a sword or some shit. A sword? Yeah. Are you hearing this fight, kid? Fight all the bots. They got, there's got to be some some robot destruction cop. It's so funny because I never would have expected you to ever want any sort of like robot robot combat. I you would think anyone who listening to you right now would think that you were into like mecha anime. <laughs> I mean, I've, Yo, I, be... I've watched mecha anime. I think. Yeah, I've definitely watched mecha anime before. I just don't remember the names, honestly. But it would be cool if robotics was like real steel. Real steel, like is that? Y'all remember that movie? They would be in the fucking lab. I, I is that the one with Hugh Jackman? I think it's the one where he was controlling the robot with the with and as a boxing. Oh, <laughs> that's a mega. I never robot. seen it, but I've I've I I I've heard of it. Yeah, when yeah. When the lights go out. Oh, the dun 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 dun. dun yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'd have to... I, I never saw the movie, but I, I think I know what you're talking about. But All right, let me get some formalities out of the way. If you want to hear your name shout out at the end of these episodes, you're trying to sponsor, you're trying to help spruce up this studio, you're trying to make sure that the frame rate is, stays consistent because <laughs> it is what it is. This can only handle but so much. This is an M1 chip, and now they have M3, just to give you perspective. Uh, hit us up, Full Power Podcast, over on the Patreon page. That's Full Power Podcast on the Patreon page. If you have a comment, question, concern, business inquiry, or fan art, you're trying to sponsor... Please, real offers. Uh, hit us up, fullpowerpod at gmail.com. That is fullpowerpod at gmail.com. And for all the social media that, you know, we have, make sure you check in that description for all of that information so you can follow us on all the channels that we have. So, 
This week, we are going to be entering a new, somewhat of a new format here for Full Pop Podcast because I've expressed my feelings um, aloud in front of you guys. You know, the fact that, you know, we tried doing a bi-weekly and now we're, now we're back to the weekly format. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are happy about that one. And I'm actually happy about that shit too. Because, not gonna lie, and I said this before, I'll say it again, for especially for those that might be new here to the Full Power Podcast right now. Um, it is such a disconnect to have a format where it's like, if we're gonna be trying to look at your guys' comments and respond to them by the next episode, like, it's just so, it, it makes it feel so outdated when we're referring to things that already happened but they're like two weeks behind so we're not doing that no more we're going back to weekly we already have been weekly um and the funny thing is and i guess i'll future proof this right now we i went into this episode with the intention of actually covering the new chapter um but unfortunately at the time when we're doing this the chapter's not even out yet which i is weird because based on the few posts that i saw on twitter earlier today it seemed like it was out. So my guess is that either people were looking at spoilers um, or they were looking at leaks or a combination of both. So for this episode, um, we're not going to have any, uh, you know, chapter 103 discussion or anything like that. But like I said, future proofing, we might as well go and check my main channel, which is just Uchi. Um, and I'm sure I'll have some sort of reaction or whatever video for the 103. So if you're trying to hear my thoughts on that, at least check that out. And then by the next episode here on the Full Power Podcast, we'll I'll, I'll be sure to bring them up to speed and whatnot. But until then, this new format, this new format that I am introducing here, this intention is so that all of us are more inclined for conversation, is more engaging, is more fun for you guys and for us because it's gonna be completely random. So obviously it, it goes along with the slogan, haven't used it in a while, being full power and out of control. So this is gonna emphasize the out of control part. And I, oh man, I wish Kai was here for this, but sooner than later, hopefully he'll be back to um, take this on with us as well. Um, and this, this should actually make it more enjoyable for you guys to listen to, to watch. If you guys are watching or listening on, you know, the, uh, podcast platforms like Spotify, Apple music, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. <sighs> okay. So here's how it's going to work, boys. I'm going to ask a question and we're each going to answer it. Now, until we get like whiteboards or something, like we're, we, usually what would what, what would happen is we would just all show our answers at the same time. Mm-hmm. But this time, since we don't have that, we're just gonna go one after another. So, because I am the host for this episode, I will be the one to ask, and I'll answer last. So, who would Yo, like? You know what we could do? What happened? Go talk to me. You know how we're doing this on Discord, right? Yes. We could just all type in our answers and end them at one time, so it's kind of like surprise for each. For like so all of us. I would, I would, I would, I would be, I wouldn't be opposed to it. The only problem is if I try just to for do today. Well, no, no, no. But if I try to do anything extra, my like, it, if I put any more stress on this computer while I'm doing all this other stuff, it like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want this shit to like fuck up the recording or anything like that. I mean, but like, Negative. do you have it on your phone? You're like. Oh, like you want to do it like this? <laughs> you can do that too. You do that too. <clears throat> yeah, but I don't. I don't think it would. I don't they're think it. Be able to see. Yeah, they're probably not going to see it that great. But it's all right. It's all right. We ain't, we ain't got to rush it. We'll, we'll, we're going to do it right for all the right. for the next time. But for now, <clears throat> um, right. who? So, so who would want to start their first answer? Is Jared or do you want to start? Well, ask the question and then. Depending on who answers first, you know. All right, so then we'll we'll go from there. All right, bet, bet, bet. We'll 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 find the flow. All right, so here's the first question. If you had to eat one food daily for the rest of your life, 
what would it be? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you have to One think. Food. One food. You saying you saying like one item or like a food, like like a meal? For the sake, so to make it a little easier, I'll say a meal. I'll let I'll let it slide. A meal, you can a pick meal, a meal. A yeah. meal is a lot of shit, though. It could be a lot of foods. You I know well, yeah, I guess it depends. Like they can go crazy and be like the mac and cheese, the steak, rice on the side. I mean, I guess that's I guess that's fair though. Something because like cuz I know a lot of people, I mean it makes sense. A lot of people, they can't like for example, my fiance Crystal, right? She cannot have a steak without at least having rice. Okay? Interesting. Now, I like I've <laughs> this is my sound weird. I come from and I do this to myself. It's not like, you know, like we we grew up nice, right? I put myself in a position where, save we didn't have all of the pieces. Like, obviously, you can't have rice and no beans. Mm -hmm. Can't have beans and no rice. Mm -mm. Okay, you always have rice and beans. Yeah. Right. That that's always a given. Sometimes you can have rice by itself, uh, but it's like shit. If you just had rice with nothing else, and that sucks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But there's been times where I've had, like, there would be, like, barely a little, like, there would be barely any rice and, like, no beans. But then there's, like, meat left. You know what I'm saying? So at that moment, I'd be like, oh, shit. I, I have something to eat, and I'll eat it. Crystal, on the other hand, she'd be like, oh, I can't eat nothing, right? <laughs> Which is crazy to me. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've, yeah. I've, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so so that's what I mean. So so if you want it, so if you guys have a your favorite meal, I'll make it like that. Your favorite meal, and it can be like, like, whatever would fit on a plate. Okay, well we'll we'll elaborate it to that, and that's the only thing you got for the rest of your life. What would it be? Spaghetti. Just spaghetti. Spaghetti. I could switch it up. I could put. You can have just spaghetti. You can have spaghetti with meatballs. You can have some vegetables in there. You okay. got the proteins. You got the carbs. You got the. You got all that. Mmm. Okay, that's a good answer. I like that. I would have said rice and beans and chicken, but like, I would get tired of it. Spaghetti. I'll oh. Never get tired. Of it. Oh yeah. Talk to him. This guy. Let me tell you something, guys. I okay. It's no secret. We're all Hispanics here, right? We're all Hispanics. All Dominicans. Well, he's more Dominican than we are, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I will say this. I, my whole life, whenever I found out that we was having rice and beans, I was always happy. My my shit lit up. Okay. But then, when this kid, right, he started aging. He started growing up. By the age of 12, I'll never forget this. He used to be disgusted. <laughs> Anytime we'd have rice and beans, he'd be like, ah, oh. <laughs> I'm like, what? The heresy. How could anybody who is of this descent be tired of rice and beans? It's like, it is like one of the godliest of foods and it's so basic, but because of how I guess much he would have it to everyone's different for him he got tired of it mad fast mm. I used to think that shit was funny as hell but we figured out why and it's because he didn't have Yamors which is our grandma right he didn't have our grandma's rice and fucking beans and and once he did never complained again <laughs> he well he did he just made sure he's like has to be Yamors right yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't complain anymore because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm grown chat. I'm grown. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so there it is. Right. So, all right. So, so you go with the pick of having spaghetti, probably spaghetti meatballs. You know, I mean, can't, you know, right. That, that, yeah, yeah. That, that makes, mm. that makes a lot of sense. Now, Brandon, you got to pick a meal. One fucking meal. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is probably like, you know, 
nice nice juicy steak mm. make sure there's a little fat in there oh yes yes and then oh. <laughs> i'll probably do like a, a rice and beans with it and oh. avocado on the side oh maybe you. a little ooh. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> maybe, maybe a little what should we call it caramelized onions over the top of the Ooh. steak make that john even juicier Ooh. yeah 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 uh yeah I think, I think that's good for now i like that shit. that's, that's like shit. a nice like complete meal pretty much that is a very got the healthy fats got the protein yeah you've you've always been about your avocados i don't yeah, like salt. avocados salt yeah yeah can't go wrong but the funny thing is isn't like doesn't guacamole use avocados yeah it is that's what much, it is right it's pretty much what, it's just smashed yeah so basically i've i've had guac when i've had like certain chipotle meals i have it sometimes but like i'm not like it, like the texture is too mushy guac. yeah like i'm, I'm not, a, honestly, I'm not yo, a guac guy honestly yo like if it came down to, like my meal is practically a chipotle bowl almost like oh like almost yeah yeah like because my chipotle bowl meal is pretty much it depends on what i want if it's like if i want a, a, a guac base Man. then it changes slightly Man. if i want uh queso on that shit then yeah. it's like you know the regular rice and rice and beans with either steak or chicken mm -hmm. double Ooh, double chicken <laughs> double chicken or double steak or double case asada or whatever the fuck they got specialty on there. And then I'll add in like uh, the, whatchamacallit, the tomatoes in there. Yeah, you're and definitely you're queso. definitely making a wrap right now. Not I didn't. I put oh. the bowl. Oh, the all oh, bowl, bowl, bowl. bowl is my Correct. Bowl. I don't get wrap. Yo, no guac, no guac on the bowl is heresy. <laughs> I mean, I don't do, I don't want to mix, I don't, I don't want to mix the guac and the queso. So that's why I said it depends on what I'm feeling. Well, I get you. Cause well, too much, too that much. Problem. Yeah, that's too much. See, this is important. This is why I like having listen, this conversation. And then listen, if you're going to go guac and you're not going to have queso, then you have to put in, it's the, the, you know, the base rice, black beans or whatever, mm. then, you know, the double chicken or steak, whatever you want there, mm. and then, ah, pinto. then, <laughs> and then you gotta, and then you gotta add in the the peppers Ooh. for the extra flavor. Then the guac with the tomato. Nah, too much vegetables. <laughs> nah, son. Nah, because he's he. They, I like his bowl right there. Bro, that's the flavor. That's the max flavor that's you'll fat. get. Yes, yeah, facts. Because if you're not gonna have guac, yeah. Then the queso is gonna have a bunch of flavor in itself. Yes, Yo, correct. So you don't you need, need none of that extra shit. Mm -hmm. All you need is the rice, beans, chicken, guac, <laughs> double guac, <laughs> triple guac, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then pull up a snapple on your way out. Ooh, all right. I like your drinks. Chipotle lemonade kind of slaps. Shit. If, if that's what we're talking, about. I don't know if Chipotle got snapple. So, all right, all right, all right. Sorry. Right. So, bef between the two of y'all, so it's so crazy how opposite ended we are so far because he's going with basically like pasta and meatballs, spaghetti and meatballs, right? That's a very good, that's a very reliable meal. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you get the nice marinara sauce on that shit. Always a good time. Always. It could, it could get tiring. It could, it could, but I get where he's coming from because it's quick, right? That's, what, that's, see? When, you it is up, that's when you change the meat up. It's very Put micro. Put some bacon in there. <laughs> oh, uh, now he's speaking my language. Yo, fucking bacon hits with a lot of things. A lot of things. Yo, all right, before I answer mine, because I got to answer. Yo, I made a new breakfast sandwich. Wait, no, no, hold, 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 hold on. Before, before we could get to that, right? Listen. I, I literally. You, okay, so, you, okay, quick check. Right, uh, I got too many meals. Oh, man, man. too many, too many specialties. Listen, so listen, 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 listen. All right, I actually, I actually did this with juice at Wawa too, so I know they could do it. Right, meatball marinara. Yeah, yeah I know these. Hold on, ready? Peppers and bacon. I don't do peppers. Bro. No, 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 okay, no. Listen, going, listen, listen. No, no, but that's it. Because, because again. The thing, and this is this is this is how I, I'm not I'm, I'm not I didn't go to culinary school and none of that shit. Okay, I'll just put that out there as a warning, right? But 
the way I'm understanding how food works, like to optimize your fucking taste buds and the enjoyment, the experience of what you're eating, you have to know what is stronger than other flavors. You feel me? So, for example, it's like chemistry. It basically, right? This is the Dr. Stone of fucking food right here. Okay? Let me let me tell you something. Or food wars, rather. Let me let's get, let's get on top. So, when you have the meatball marinara straight up, That's nothing nothing in it, it has mad flavor already. The sauce from the marinara and the meatballs and it's in the bread, you're already good. You could even get away with maybe putting some oregano in there. Maybe. Maybe. If you wanted to experiment, right? But you put peppers in that bitch. Okay? You add that adds a kick. Okay? Now now hold on. The bacon adds it introduces a new flavor think, yeah. to the experience that anything after that, it would kill it. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Meatball, I had this shit. So Juice wanted to go to Wawa twice when he was here. Rightfully so. He don't have it in Japan, right? So the first day, I ordered my regular BL Tizzle. The second day, because like we were around Wawa, he's like, hey man, you try to go to Wawa again? I was like, all right, fine. Juice like, I'll go fuck the Wawa <laughs> again with you. Like, because you don't have it, right? So I went in there and I was like, you know what? I'm going to change it up this time. Because like, it's not very often where I go back to back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I went in there. I was like, let me do this meatball marinara. I put the pepper. I put the peppers, the banana ones, the hot banana peppers and the bacon. Shit was fucking fire. Matter of fact, I made a hungry as fuck and I didn't release it yet, which is on me. <laughs> I got a couple. I got some quick checks. I got like special <laughs> it's customized so customized but one, of, one of my one of my go-to's at wawa i would say is probably the let me see the oh shit it's like a sub it's a 10 inch sub or whatever mm -hmm. it's like the crispy chicken custom wait a minute wawa oh yeah you're right yeah it is 10 inch yeah you're right you're right you're right quick check is a whole foot long 12 yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. but that yo my shit bang it over there but wawa one it's yeah it's like a 10 inch 10 inch sub I forget what role it is. It's probably like the shorty or whatever the fuck. But, or okay. the junior. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Whatever their sizes are. But the 10 inch, mm. crispy, chicken custom. Ooh. So then you do the. I do. So I put oil. I do like a little bit. So yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I do. Let me see. I'm trying to think. So I do like a little bit of oil, normal red wine vinegar. Yeah. Then I get hot, honey hot sauce. Key. Mm. with ranch yes with the ranch and then mm. the crispy chicken then you layer that john with the tomato if you want spinach i do spinach i've, yeah. I've gotten into really? spinach a little bit yeah interesting so i used to do lettuce shredded lettuce but i've gone away from that so, so. you you converted you went from shredded lettuce to spinach now spinach yeah Popeye. and then oh. so spinach on there and then i'll add avocado bacon and caramelized onion fuck that sounds, that, shit, that sounds nice. That the flavor you get out of that shit. I gotta try that crazy. shit. Crazy. I got and you say that it's like Wawa. Wow. Yeah, I got. And try then that and then you gotta either get a refresher or a smoothie. Oh. And then. Ooh. Okay. And Go then ahead, you gotta continue. get. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then the side of chips is the most important. This fucking guy. All right. Oh, yo. <laughs> yo, the <laughs> chips. The chips are get, important. Get you some hot chips. This okay, you wanna know something, guys? This fucking guy, he bought Put a that John box. in the fucking sale. No, no, no. He bought a box. I always buy of boxes. The hot, the all hot Doritos, Cheetos. I didn't even know they had it that box. Yeah, I didn't. I mean Where I, you find that shit at? Walmart or Target. You know? Oh, yeah, right. They right, got yeah. the boxes. But <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, you, you know, you get to pick your choice. The bricks. The bricks. I've gotten into Takis too. Somehow, some way. You never... just it's it's your hot shit. I get it. I've never really Yo, was into you know, those. But... For my whole life, <laughs> I didn't know I could eat Takis until two weeks ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you got allergic reactions to shit. So you got to watch it. Yeah, but I junk. never even bothered. I was like, oh, I probably can't eat that. Oh. Takis is low-key fire. I don't think I've had a Taki before. They even have the Dorito version of Takis, and those are Ooh, high. collaboration snacks? Oh. Yeah. Shit. Damn. Yeah, but that's my Wawa sandwich. 
my my quick check one that's just like charging for <laughs> advice <laughs> <laughs> the fucking want? custom pa- patreon on the recipes it's a Ita- the mixes. it's a italian or no it's another like crispy chicken so best 12 foot I believe it's like an italian based um breaded something like that okay um no, no it's kind of the same thing you know either shredded lettuce tomato or spinach tomato oil red wine vinegar ranch and then avocado bacon and i think that's it okay so it's pretty much a similar but it's a different roll like it's a different bread okay and it's the way quick trick does it all right but i think i do normal oil not not like a little bit next time we have we get sandwiches remind me to try one of your i want to try one of yours oh my god quick check guy i got i get like two things because like they have like this portuguese roll like crispy chicken roll Uh uh-huh and it's like a six inch or whatever the case may be it's not there's no 12 foot option for it but it's that base and then you pretty much just get everything what I pretty much been saying the whole time is always bacon, always avocado, and then lettuce, tomato, and then the crispy chicken, and then oil vinegar, or oil red wine vinegar, yeah, and right. then ranch. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. And if you if you want to substitute the ranch for a different sauce, I recommend either if you're at Wawa, get honey hot always. That's a sleeper. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a sleeper and then or if you don't want to get that shit then at that point it's like whatever might i interest whatever. you in garlic aioli i've i've tested that before that's not bad but and so what's the, what's chipotle garlic aioli. garlic aioli is od that's a that's a that's a topping crystal and i discovered like last year there was a spot we used to hit well actually no it was way before that actually it's probably like we're coming up on maybe like a year and a half two years almost when we discovered this fucking special sauce the garlic aioli there was a spot we used to go to late night on main street in Stroudsburg, and it was called 308 or something like that right but it was like one of those like burger johns okay okay so it's like okay so it's not no chain it's not no burger king burger hose none of that shit right <laughs> so we're going in there and we order whatever their like burger special burger was mm-hmm. and it came with like this like fries with the special sauce that they like they put on their menu so we're like all right we'll try this special sauce and we tried that shit shit fucking slapped we're like what the fuck is this sauce right and you know how i get with food if something's that good i literally start talking to people yeah, i'm just yeah. like i'm like what is this i'm like this is god like and the lady was laughing she was like she was like honestly it's basic like she ba- they said they basically made their own garlic aioli and they combined like oh. like mayo and other shit and it was just great i don't remember i'm sorry i don't remember what it was that she said what it was but then like when she basically said like they made their own garlic aioli all of a sudden every time i go into a supermarket i see garlic aioli now like my vision just you like you ever play a game where like iq you you definitely can relate whenever you play a single player game and like it's open world and then like you you go into an area you've never been to and then it's like it just like opens up (laughs) and on on your world map that's how it was yeah 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 that's how it was for me with this fucking sauce so yeah, garlic aioli is great. Um, I I usually always do garlic aioli ranch and chipotle mayo. Chipotle mayo and ranch used to be the two. Then I started putting garlic aioli. I'm like, okay, this is getting crazy now. But I never fucking answered, right? So what the hell am I gonna have? Oh yeah. My one meal for the rest of my life. Oh damn, Loki! I forgot we were on this topic. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. But hey, like, like th- this is this is the fun that I'm looking for for these episodes for you guys now. So. I would have to say my perfect meal would almost mimic your steak one. Not even going to lie. Because I love a fat <laughs> fucking steak, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, it is, it is, like, you guys don't understand. Like, 
having a nice juicy fucking steak it's gotta be medium rare. With, with the with the uh, with the caramelized onions it's gotta be medium rare hey, with the fat you you better leave all the fat on that shit all the fat all the grease oh we oh want all my that. fucking we want all we want that all shit that. Yeah, not because yo, then then it gets into the rice and the oh, nah, son. extra flavor. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So yeah, it would have to be Wait, that. So how how y'all like your steaks? Medium, rare, nothing more. Nothing so okay, wait, 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 wait. All right, I want you to okay for the the podcast. All right, I will say there's a difference between hamburgers and steak. I no, get it. Okay. Um, all that, of them. No, no, listen, 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 listen. So <laughs> my thing is this. I need you guys to explain for the for the people that might not know the difference because I am one of those people that don't know the difference. <laughs> uh, what is medium rare? Medium rare leaves a little bit of pink. And honestly, I feel like it leaves a little more fat like on the steak mm. or whatever the case may be. Like if we're they talking about steak, it. then yeah, they, like it's not overcooked to where there's no pink left. Okay, so rare so is pink. Medium rare is, you know, a little bit of pink, a little bit of cook. It's like in between, uh, but it's still tender. Yes, and like that's important. Because when it gets too overcooked or like even if it's just straight medium and then anything then beyond chewy, that, bro. then it's chewy. I don't hate yeah, chewy shit. Nah, yeah, no, no, we're not a fan of chewy. Nah, bro. that's that's why. You don't like the chewy. That's that's why this this should be a separate question. Especially when it comes to turkey, bro. Like I was just gonna say that, bro. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> that should, that motherfucker, have me chewing Yo, forever. There's so, like there's like it's the worst when you're eating a meal and the meat is just chewy. Too uh, chewy, bro. Yeah, it, that's a, that's a meal killer. That's why turkey is the wackest bird. The wackest meat is it, turkey. It needs to, and that shit needs to be cooked correctly like yeah. otherwise it's just fucked yeah like i've had i've had certain turkeys before where, where it's, they weren't chewy it yeah. was like enjoyable meat and i was like okay it, wasn't bad. it, was, it was not bad but it, it, it it's like very rare it's like it's like more miss than hit it's mm. not even hit or miss. It's like, like I said, it's more. We only really have that shit like once that, a year. Exactly. <laughs> so that's probably so, why. Yeah, so the fact that it's like a once a year type of fucking food because of Thanksgiving. And if it don't hit, it's just like, give me the chicken. Like, why are we, why are we, you know, in Japan, the way they celebrate Thanksgiving, they actually accept KFC <laughs> as like acceptable, oh, yeah, like saw, meat and shit. That. Yeah, that's like a part of the culture over there. So they got KFCs. They probably got maybe I don't know if they have Popeye over there, but like anytime they could get their bucket of chicken, that counts towards a Thanksgiving meal in Japan. That's fire. That's OD. Okay. All right, but let me answer this question so I could freaking so yeah, so yeah, so I was saying like it would be basically similar to yours. It'd be like a fucking nice juicy medium rare onion caramelized steak, rice and beans, and honestly like can't go wrong with that, like. You get, and, and you know what? A side salad. <laughs> a, side, a side salad with like uh, Italian dressing can't go wrong. Cause that's like, you're, that's like you're hitting everything. You're hitting all the salad. Yeah. Exactly. You're hitting all, you're hitting all your food groups, getting your protein, getting all that shit. So I will say on burgers, I need it to be well done. Negative. <laughs> yo, you don't. Yo, you think that well done? Like all the juices out. Applebee's. Listen, I've had. Right, I've had well done. Mm. I've had well done. Like, I nah. once I found medium rare, I never went back. Bro. Yeah, honest, that. yo, honestly, but, yo, honestly, yeah, son, that's what I'm saying. This Saturday, I went to Applebee's. Yeah. The juiciest <laughs> burger, uh. and it was well done. Hmm. I mean, it would have been better with medium rare, bro. Probably. Not gonna 100%. lie. Hundred percent. Not gonna. He's, he's probably. He's probably. He's probably right on that. Steak is medium rare. Hamburger is well done. Yo, have, have you had a burger with medium rare? I have. Doesn't sound and like a good sample size. Doesn't. You see? Oh my god! You must have got a bad burger then. Yeah, because here's my thing. Because it I, depends I, on what burger you get. I feel like if you get a burger well done, there's a higher chance of them fucking it up. Like, they burn it or some shit. That's nah, yo, saying. yo, they know what they're doing. Every time I had a well done burger, it's good. What was the burger called? Do you remember? 
classic burger. <laughs> oh my god, a fucking course. The classic yeah, the classic burger. ass. It fucking... wasn't nothing special. Nah, bro, it was just patty, lettuce, onion, pickle. You're missing. That's it. Ketchup. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So we had a we had a nice food discussion here for that one question. But you see what I mean? This is the shit that we're going for. Look at that. All this, all this conversation out of a fucking food question. Now let me let me hit you guys with this next question, right? This might seem a little bit more on par and on brand with a lot of the things that we talk about. So here we go. If you could have a superpower, but it had to be kind of useless. Kind of useless. What would it be? Kind of. What does that mean? Okay, so what that means it's from like inconvenience. Yeah, like it, it it would be a superpower that is not like the crazy type where it's like super strength. Like it would have to be something like what the fuck is like what is the point of it? Like it, like you know, character in like My Hero Academia where like like the tape guy. He just <laughs> shoots fucking tape. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he makes use of it, but you know, something like along those lines. So for this question, we'll do we'll have fun with it. We'll answer I'll answer me this with the useless power and then what would be your good one? So that's hard. I don't have one like offer it low key. Jad, you got something? I'm thinking of I'm cooking right now. All right, so here, I'll I'll go first. All right. So <clears throat> if my useless superpower, I would have to go with something along the lines of like being able to know exactly how many items is in like a certain area which it might sound useless but that could that be actually pretty that useful does not sound useless <laughs> 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 yeah. Ah, yo, imagine, imagine you're guessing how many things are in like a jar, and you that's, get like a prize. That's what I'm Boom. saying. But that's not useless. Three. That's what. It's you. Well, so okay. The definite. Uh, so for this question, the I want, I want you to think of useless in the sense of this is not really exciting. Like everyday life, you're not gonna need that. Exactly. Like once that jar, once that jar pops up, yeah, it's your time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you go to, you go to like a fucking like, like a family party, and they're having like the mini games, and they're like, oh yeah, like guess how many balls are in the fucking jar, and you get a, I get a prize. Like there was one. Okay, there was a Halloween party I went to a few years ago with Crystal, and I had to guess how many Starbursts was in the jar, and if I, and whoever got get got closest to it would we'll just keep the jar of starburst and i actually won that shit i got mad lucky mm. so so yeah that would be my useless superpower my my not useless like you know what if i had a, if i had to pick one superpower what would it be and this might sound this might sound surprising i'd be a healer healer i'd be a healer and the reason why i want to be a healer is that there is too much illness in the world and there's like a lot of people that got conditions and like i'm not trying to go down like a whole like the medical system is corrupt type conversation because we could probably definitely go there <laughs> but like i feel like there's a lot that we don't know and there's a lot of surfaced things that a lot of people are discovering on their own and putting out there on like platforms like TikTok and shit like that where people are finding like home remedies and they're curing things and like you know in all that's so cool and like it's super interesting but then at the same time it sheds like a whole nother light of how fucked up like like how visiting a doctor and just even going to the hospital can seem so transactional and i hate that so outside of you know the cliche oh let me get fire powers or let me fucking look like blow up something by looking at it like i would truly i would love to be a healer because that way i could just rid you of whatever you got you got a headache gone 
You got a cold gone. You got cancer gone. That's what I would want to do. I would be a healer. So, all right. I need some answers from you boys. Give me your useless shit and then give me your real shit. Shit. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> uh, maybe for my useless power, it would probably be. Uh, I don't gotta wipe my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. I'm not gonna lie. That is probably oh. the most godlike useless shit I've ever heard. Because, yo, do you know what that means? That means that you would take perfect shits. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Paper, exactly. It's either that or I would just always smell fresh. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't have to shower. Oh, so you would okay, so you would you would just have perfect hygiene. Perfect hygiene. You I, would I don't gotta do shit. You wouldn't have to shower, you wouldn't have to use deodorant, no Nothing. cologne. <laughs> that, that's his whole gimmick. <laughs> fresh <laughs> Oh, oh oh. Yo, I got a kicker to that shit. Fuck it. Okay. I could probably do do some shit like this. I could I could I have all the scrolls of all the colognes in the world so that way i can scrolls. pick which one i want w scrolls i don't know i just coming up with some shit <laughs> see what i'm saying like wait 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 wait. so wait when you say scrolls are you referring to like how certain colognes are made yeah <laughs> <laughs> He says scrolls. And that and that way, you know, like it's on some it's on some uh whatchamacallit? Like some solo leveling shit where I got the menu. Oh. I, could, I could I could just pick it, activate, this is what I smell like type shit. You know what I mean? Uh so you just want okay, so your useless power, you just want access to all the best fragrances. But then I would activate it and I would, sm Boom. I would just smell fresh. Damn. That you know what? That's that's actually kind of fire. <laughs> so I like how he went from I would never want to wipe my ass. So perfect <laughs> shits, right? He went from perfect shits to I would never want to shower, but I wouldn't have the perfect hygiene to then, nope, I want access to all fragrances and I could, I will smell fresh at all times, 24 seven. All time. That's fire. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So then, so then answer me this now, what would be your godlike power? Like your good one. <laughs> godlike. Probably, probably on some ultra instinct shit <laughs> type shit. Does, so you, that, does that count? Sure. Explain like exactly. So, so you would your your superpower would essentially well, be. Are we gonna simplify it or like are we gonna? You take, can explain like, it however you want. Explain it however you want. Whatever makes sense to you. Mm. Actually. Let's see. <laughs> 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 so, I don't even know, man. God damn. Do you want to, you want to come back around to you yeah, so you yeah, can yeah, think yeah, about yeah, it more? Yeah, All right, Jared. Yeah, so yeah. give me give me your useless power, and then your superpower, like your your good one. All right. So my useless power is every time I sneeze, I get sent ten seconds back into the past. What? what Wait. Bullshit? That shit actually would be crazy though. So say he sneezed in the moment of death. Of well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> God forbid, right? He gets to do it over, but then he would have to sneeze again to like do it again. I mean, it would have to be sneezing on repeat. Yeah, but th but that's what makes it useless because it's like I could it carry I could carry a feather on me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I respect that. Okay, all right. So now, what about your good one? I have to go with the you know, you know. They call me Miles Morales. Oh, so you want to be Spider Man? Not any Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Oh, <laughs> so you you want to make sure that you're Spider-Man like Miles, like you know you have the electri electricity yeah. powers and all that shit, camouflage. Yo, I feel like I feel like yo, he got electricity powers. At this point, he could basically be the Flash. Well, he's not because super fast. Think about though. it. Nah, nah, think nah. He, nah. He didn't got the super speed. He didn't got the super speed. Think about it. He could absorb all the electricity, <laughs> and he could go fast. No, it's not. <laughs> Think about it. Yo, they just never showed it. He just never done it. He hasn't opened his mind. If he ever, wow, you know, <laughs> if he ever utilized electricity to that level, where he decided he was gonna focus all his electro, 
like pull electro i don't want to say electromagnetic but like all his electricity into his feet and for some reason that enabled him to just be a speedster that would be broken and would not make any sense because he'd be the first spider person to have such a power he's already broken i mean sure keep it that way sure all right I, all right fine that's because that. all he's done is put the electricity to his hands and like make venom shocks and whatever right all right so i mean okay i mean that'd be that'd be kind of crazy but i don't know i'm thinking too much but okay that'd be cool for you that's what that'd be it. a good and one and he goes invis too right so it's like but the thing is like imagine see like if you have him going super fast what's the point of even web slinging anymore that's like you take away for something the, that makes spider-man spider-man nah <laughs> son like he wouldn't even be Spider-Man nah, no thing more. Is he can't do it. He can't do it like all the time, because he like all that energy coursing through you. Mm -hmm. That's only like a. Yeah. You know. Okay. Well. All right. So there's some balancing to that. Okay. I guess. All right. Fine. Sure. So have you have you thought uh, thought out how you want to do your Ultra Instinct type power? Nah. I think I'll probably need an all for one. Wait a minute. You want the. You want all for one? <laughs> well, actually, bro, that's a whole different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the king. Give me that shit. Nigga. Wait, 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 wait. Give me that shit. So you Either want that or the one for all? Okay, all for one. All just, for one. Just I to know. remind you, is <laughs> the bad one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, give me one for all then. Fuck. It. One for all is is the all might is one. The all might. Where it can... all for one still kind of od though. They both are. You just have every power. You just the isn't the only difference kind of that all for one you you get to steal. It's all for yourself. Right, right. Type shit. Okay, but one for all, you got <laughs> it's the same. One, one for all, you got like all the all the different stuff too. You got yeah, you got different abilities with yeah, yeah, one yeah. for all. Yeah. It's just a little different, I guess. <laughs> he wants he wanted to make sure he he picked something that was busted. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do it all do it all right okay that makes that that does make sense okay cool all right so we answered that one that was that was that shit took us less time than the food thing if you could be any animal or mythical creature what would you be and why ape an ape <laughs> of course <laughs> caesar. caesar type shit okay so all right so okay now why why would you go towards being an ape because them niggas is smart <laughs> caesar yo wait. <laughs> so wait strong you're assuming <laughs> you're assuming, <laughs> <laughs> you're you're assuming that all apes are like caesar though not all of them there's obviously some dumb niggas <laughs> but you know what i mean <laughs> so all right all right all right so you would want to be an ape though because top, top of the line top of the line what does that mean caesar <laughs> <laughs> i guess he would fall under the mythical creature part because that motherfucker was od yeah he was essentially okay he was born with a mutated gene that his mom passed on to him mm -hmm. so yeah he was born special 4.0 4 4.0 <laughs> 4 <laughs> 4 <laughs> Damn, that was a quick answer Okay, IQ, what you got? Any animal I or would, mythical creature? I would be uh, I would be the, I would be Appa You would No way <laughs> You'd be a flying bison. Yeah. That's probably the most meme shit I've ever heard you say. <laughs> he wants to be a flying bison. By the way, did you see the Avatar uh, Netflix show? No, because I heard it was trash. No. That's a that's false. <laughs> we should... we Oh, man. We should have done an episode on that. But no, no, no. Just to quickly deviate for a second, I saw all eight episodes... Of Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix, the a Netflix adaptation, and I can say that is a very faithful adaptation to the fucking original, and it was great. I can't understand why and or how anybody with half of a brain 
could say that the adaptation was bad because comparing it to what we got all those years ago that started the trend of shitty live action that com this completely overwrites that and it sets a good example for how to n properly do true anime or cartoon adaptations like that respect the original because man i'm telling you if you watch it and you've seen the original cartoon you'll know and you'll remember things you'll be like oh shit i remember seeing this in the original show like I don't like that is so mind boggling to me how anybody could say that shit was bad. It was not bad at all. They covered like the first book, which was like the it was like the book of water, I think, or something like that. I mm. think. I yeah. And like you remember you remember the part where they go to the northern water tribe, I think it was, or south, I, I forget which which part. And they meet all the other water tribe people and they only have the men fighting and then um katara basically convinces them to let her fight with them because she's the only female that can throw hands and can water bend and all that shit was still there they even had actors that looked exactly like how they did in the show i'm like everything was one to one and then like the Fire Nation comes in. That, remember that whole attack? And then the, they had like the, the those two fish. The one was white and one was black. And they was in they and and they took the one and they killed it. And then Aang fucking became a part of that shit with the awakened Avatar state and became this giant fucking Susano creature. Do you remember that? I think I kind of do. All that's in there. Years. all of that's in there and it was like bro how how is this bad it was so good so good they kept all that shit so yeah that's my side tangent of avatar y'all yo listen don't listen to what people are putting out there online guys I, I'm, take it from me someone who looks out for good shit and especially when it comes to adaptations forget about it they did a great job with that show and it's so good, they already greenlit season two and three. Because fuck out of here. Are you kidding me? Avatar is way too popular. And it, this shit did a great job. Phenomenal, especially comparing it to the original shit. They, they pronounced the character names right. Everybody looked the part. All the effects of the bending was fire. Come on, son. Like, it wasn't perfect. But it was so good that I, I'm, at, I'm able to defend it this much. Because there's never, I don't think, it's, it's very hard nowadays to truly have a perfect, perfect one-to-one -one live action adaptation of anything. They're going to have to make changes at some point, one way or another. So that, that's my side tangent. So let me pick my, my fucking animal now to answer this question. So <clears throat> if I could be any animal in the world or mythical creature... I, this might sound very cliche. I'd be a fucking dragon. Simple enough. Word. Because, dude, it's a dragon. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that. Dragons are OD. Like, they're like they're like some of the most greatest mythical creatures you could ever fucking imagine or want. You know, mm. all the all the great mythical creatures. I would feel like some of the top ones usually end up being dragons. Shenron. Dragon. Fairy tale. <clears throat> they got dragons in there too. Of they, yeah, you know what? And and they. Oh, I don't think you see you saw Shang Chi, but they got a dragon. Fucking that shit. Basically, Shenron came mm -hmm. out the water, bro. Was O D crazy. Shang Chi two. Shang Chi. Sha yep. Yeah, shout outs. Shout outs. Shang Chi two. Right. So yeah, that that's my. <clears throat> that's my that's my uh mythical answer right there so also quick reminder to you guys watching at home feel free to answer any of these questions you can literally reply to, with a timestamp to when you know or just just answer whichever ones or all of them if you want in the comment section below and uh if we have some time we'll obviously go over them on the next episode to see what you guys were saying 
Um, and keep in mind, super chats are definitely going to get, you know, prioritized over any of the not super chat ones. So keep that in mind. And it does help support us as, at, at the same time. Um, we got time for one more question. And then we got to wrap this one up. So let's see. So what's the weirdest gift or dream you've ever had or received? Gift or dream? That's like... That's a They're two different thing. things, obviously. But so you can just pick one. But I barely remember my dreams. <laughs> That's true, though. That shit fades away. Like... So go with gift. What's the weirdest gift you've ever gotten? So I don't even remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't really have like. What could be a weird gift? Like some random shit? Like oh, yeah, that sure. doesn't make sense. Like, sure. This is a recent gift, but this is the weirdest gift I have. Let's see if the camera even lets you see it. <laughs> the Groot shit. That's funny. I don't, mm, I don't really think I've received like a weird gift. A weird gift like as of recent for me to even answer so this even question. Remember? All right. All right. <clears throat> I'll give you. I'll give, all right. So for me. What I categorize as weird also falls under the category of shit. Okay? okay? So we can alter the question a little bit just to help you answer it a little bit better, right? My the one one thing that sits atop the list of things that I've I've ever been gracious enough to receive was a globe. Okay? Now I'm gonna tell you guys this story. You might have heard this. I don't think you've ever heard this, right? So back in the day, mom, she used to have this affinity for trying to get me specifically educational gifts. Okay. She loved doing that shit. The scholastic book fair, these little tools for fucking math problems. Right. I've, I've had a lot of different things over the years. Right now, of course, in hindsight, I'm talking about this all these years later. And she probably did the right thing. She got me things that was to help me learn better and to just, you know, be more prepared when I would go into school and all that shit, right? But as a kid, I didn't want none of this fucking shit. Dude, I'll never forget this. When I got the globe, and mind you, I had a list. Okay, I always made lists when I was a kid. I was like, oh man, my birthday's coming up. I got, I want this figure. I want this game. But it was always toys and video games. I made it so simple, so easy. I'm like, get this shit for my birthday. Get this shit for Christmas. Make sure Santa sees this, right? Do you think I wrote globe on that fucking list? <laughs> think about that shit for a second. You think I would waste a slot? You know how, like, in a fighting game, it's like, you see a shitty character, it's like, oh, this is a wasted slot. You ever think I would waste a slot for a gift? For a fucking globe? So I never forget this. I got this globe, and she was all excited for me. And I was like, I didn't want this, <laughs> right? I didn't want a fucking globe. <laughs> so I remember, like, I got, like, other things that I was actually excited for, and then I would open this globe, and I'm just like, oh, my fucking God, what is this shit? So then... I, rem I remember like she was helping me set it up and like it was one of those like tap it with like a little pen thing and like it would it would speak to you so you would tap on certain parts of the world and it would be like oh this is Africa and this is like it would go over the continents and shit and I'm just like this is fucking boring I don't want this shit <laughs> right but yeah I consider that a weird one because for the time you know, obviously it was during a point in my life where I was like, I didn't want this. So it falls under weird as well. But, you know, will the, will will I ever, if I am ever lucky to have kids, will I ever get them fucking globes? I ain't gonna bother. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I don't even know the globe. Fuck. Yeah. Not like that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So hopefully that helped, like, you guys think of something what is was that your answer the fucking Groot thing yeah it was it was the Groot. okay so what about you you you, you, you really don't remember anything that you've ever gotten that was weird that you would consider I weird or I shit i deleted 
Wow, that's a, such a crazy skill that you have. <laughs> I can't believe like this dude has the ability. If something was bad enough, he just deletes the memory over time. Uh, that's so <laughs> fucking crazy. I'm I don't know. So in the current, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I don't know how you do limited it. past. Limited past. <laughs> it is now that time for <laughs> Patreon shoutouts. Hey. <laughs> Right. All right, guys. Again, a quick reminder: if you want to hear your name shouted out at the end of these episodes, hit up hit up that Patreon page, Full Pride Podcast, over on the Patreon page to get your name wrapped. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna try. All right, here we go. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh. Uh. All right, here we go. Shout to Jate Sheridan. Sheridan. Philly Hamble. Philly Hamble. Anthony Parker. Anthony Parker. Crystal. Crystal. I'm Dante TX. Suck it. Jerick Rivera. Bitch. Lord Payne. Pen and the Nut. Mr. Back again once again. Back again once again. Mr. Wash. Wash that bitch. Odd Man out. Never count him out. Zaki can punch it up. <laughs> can pop. Soul Awakens. Wake your ass up. Super Saiyan. S A W F T. Soul. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Boyet, bitch, Vegeta Uchiha, Vegeta Uchiha, and worse than a demon. No, thank you. Demon time, demon time, demon time, bitch. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I'm gonna keep letting it play. Ready? Here, I got this right now. He's the only one. Land the rising sun. Sun. He's our fucking boy. The boy. His name is. Juice. 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 Yo. All right, boys, whip it out. <laughs> Hit him up. <laughs> And as a reminder, if you guys want to hear your name shout out at the end of these episodes, rap, support us, help the studio, help the content, Full Power Podcast over on the Patreon page. There's Full Power Podcast on the Patreon page. Comment, question, concern, business inquiry, or fan art you're trying to sponsor, hit us up, fullpowerpod at gmail.com. That is fullpowerpod at gmail.com. All right, Jared, bring us home. Nah. I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm kidding. Habata itara. Yeah. Madoro na ito ite. Yes, sir. Mezashita no wa. Uh huh. Aoi, aoi, ano sora. Hit us up on that motherfucking bluebird. On Twitter. At Full Power Pod. Yo, fuck X. <laughs> we don't say X around here, okay? It's still Twitter. You know what the funny thing is? Twitter actually still exists in in some way, like the name. Because I actually, and before we go, I'll tell the story. I recently made several posts about a leaked, canceled Spider-Man game that we were supposed to get called Spider-Man the fuck i forgot what it's called <laughs> but it was the great, web? the great thank you it was the great web it was supposed to be a multiplayer spider-man game and apparently because of the, in this leak it was leaked that it was canceled but this shit looked finished like the trailer that they had for it that got leaked and the images that got leaked this shit looked like it was done okay mm -hmm. so i made tweets about it i had shared the images i shared the video because other people were doing it so i was like yeah i'm gonna fucking do it too and i got an email from twitter and they said that these posts were taken down due to copyright or some shit which obviously meant that they were uh striking down people that were sharing content that was not supposed to be out there which i didn't even know you could what twitter could do because people are sharing shit left and right all the time. But I guess because it wasn't like, you know, intended to be out there in the first place, 
this sh- this type of information got leaked. I didn't even dispute it. But the point is that email. So does that mean what? So does that mean? That they might release it? <laughs> There's a chance. <laughs> right. Because why would they why would they care? That's true too. That's true too. I I saw someone that responded to me that say, said that like it wasn't actually canceled, but I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it was canceled for the time being. Maybe that it's something that they are still planning to release later down the pipeline. Maybe it's not something that they want to put out on the PS5. Maybe they want to put it out on the PlayStation 6 or you know, something, you know, along, uh, along those lines later down the line. Um, but the point is, when I got that email dispute, that shit said Twitter support. Didn't say X support. Fuck that shit. It said Twitter support. So Twitter still exists out there in some way, shape, or form. So Well, the URL still says Twitter, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like if you like go to Twitter.com... It the URL still works, but it'll it'll say like it'll fix itself to be like X or whatever. So either way, I hope you guys all uh listening, watching back at home enjoyed this very uh fun, fulfilled, randomized episode, which will be the continued theme here, along with like whatever we'd like actually directly want to speak on. Like, for example, like next week we're gonna uh uh I guess catch up a little bit more with this uh manga. For Dragon Ball Super Chapter 103, which apparently is supposed to be like the last one for the foreseeable future. So, mm. rightfully so, you know, Akira Toriyama did recently pass. Um, so they're probably giving all of the folks that work on the manga some time off, which is deserving. Um, so they're not like kind of just diving right back into it. So we would have no idea what's going to happen with the manga from this point on at this time. So, we'll at least talk about the next chapter on the next episode. Brother Uch, what do you have left for the people at home? Uh, same old shit. Stay fresh, stay clean. Get yourself a nice fucking cologne. Smell fresh. That's it. Okay. All right. And IQ, what do you have left for the people at home? Uh, Snapple. Okay. Keep them drinks up. Stay hydrated, right? Um, hey, specifically the apple one. Snapple apple. We don't want. We don't want any any other one. That shit's a thirst quencher. <laughs> that shit ain't no hydration. <laughs> 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 All right, boys and girls. Well, that's gonna be it. It's been your boy, Ooch, the Ice Man. Brother Ooch, the man with all the IQ, IQ Ooch. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect keep it locked little right here on this podcast. Stay safe, stay clean, and stay the hell inside. And we'll see y'all <laughs> next time. <laughs> see ya. I gotta do that one more time. Bye. You know, it's crazy. The one thing that no one said for the food that they would have for the rest of their lives is that chicharron. Was that chicharron? I could put that in the pasta. <laughs> That's crazy. Cheech.